Welcome to the start of our F1 career. Thank you for joining me. If you have not seen the last episode, you should check it out. It was an epic last lap finish for the F2 championship. And now we're here in F1. So I haven't really looked into what's new in the game, but we have these specialist level help us in our career. The only one we have right now is this manufacturing specialist. Let's see what he's got. And we have some very easy goals to meet. So we are driving for Haas in a 10 race championship. I'm gonna increase it more as we hopefully get contracts with better teams in a fight for a championship, but gonna start with 10 races. Here are the tracks we will be going to. And hopefully we can score some points for Haas and beat out Hulkenberg, which is going to be quite the challenge, I think. So right now our team is the worst at um, aerodynamics. So we are going to upgrade that, I think, and try to catch us up there because we do not want to be losing that corner speed, even though we'll be fast on the straights because they have a really good engine. It won't matter if we don't get a good corner exit, so we're going to work on that. And after all the upgrades, uh, Hulkenberg did a lot on the chassis, it seemed like, and I did the aerodynamic one. We are middle of the best of the rest. Not the worst team out there, but if it's on the right track, we could be competing for some points if we get lucky. So let's see what we can do in this first race. It'll be a good indicator of where we stand. So we are qualifying in the rain. I have no rain experience in this game, so this could be terrible. I mean, starting in 20th, it's about where we're supposed to start anyway in some races as Haas, but I was really hoping we'd have a uh, better opportunity to start well, so this could be really, really tough. Um, I'm going to run some laps and see what happens. Well, we did not qualify great. We qualified in last, but if it's any consolation, Lando Norris also did really bad in the wet. So we're not complete trash. We're right there with Norris, but the biggest surprise, Norris's teammate P. Astry takes pole position in the rain and Fernando right behind him, so this could be anyone's race. In fact, Leclerc is 14th, so it's just craziness all around. Um, we're gonna fight for the points. We're gonna see if we can do some pitch strategy or something, but there could be some craziness in the order. Let's see what happens. Here we go into the race. of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Okay, so it's going to be a one-stop strategy, starting with the softs, going to the mediums. Um, it originally recommended the the default is the mediums to the hards, but I noticed that the tire wear was not so bad in practice, so I'm actually going to trust this. And we might even try an overcut and pit later than lap eight, but we're gonna feel it out in that moment. But on lap eight, we're really gonna we're really gonna see if we should overcut or not. It we have to do something bold if we want to get points, so we might try the overcut. Uh, let's dive into this race, first race of our F1 career. Thanks for watching this far, and um, hopefully you're rewarded with a good race. Let's go. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. towards the grid to line up for the start of the race. Each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can, and they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium, failing that within the points.
Well, everyone is starting on the mediums except us, so that could be huge. We're gonna tire save though and not be overly aggressive, but starting on the softs instead of the mediums could be our key to the points. Let's see. And the lights are out and away we go. No room to pass, even though I, we had good momentum at lunch. Don't want to damage. Accidental dive bomb. No damage though, we're good. Just a warning. And we're back in last. I have no replays or restarts on. And I'm not gonna restart this race. Quite frankly, I don't have time to restart this race if something crazy happens even in these first laps. I have to get going soon. So I have to drive somewhat conservatively. And we gotta save these tires, not drive too crazy. But of course we cannot lose the one second gap already to the Williams up ahead. Said a decent start, I would say it was pretty bad. Already got a gap. Huge traffic jam. Or I'm breaking way too late. It's hard going from qualifying in the wets to this. Your rhythm's just thrown off. But it's a 35% race, so we'll hopefully we find the rhythm. Oh, a lockup by Sergeant! Almost collides into us! Albon gets to pass him, that was crazy! We almost ran right into him because he locked up! The only driver we have a higher rating than is Sergeant, who has a 70 driver rating. So if we can make a move on him, that'll be great. These two Williams are way slower than anyone else. I think I can pass them pretty soon. They're holding me up from catching up. If you think you can get past, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. And we are saving our tires so we can maintain with these mediums. Hopefully it pays off. I'm not pushing quite 100%. Oh, another lockup! Ricardo goes off the track! Almost another collision there. You gotta be careful of these guys. I have run into many AI drivers who locked up and broken my nose. So just gotta have quick reactions. We're paying the patient long game. This race is quite lengthy. Yellow flag. Oh, we got a yellow. And we're back to green. So they, I mean, oh, we have a car into the wall. It's Pierre Gasly. Will they throw a red because of that? That looks like it's in a tough spot. At least a safety car? My gosh. So they are definitely making mistakes. Gasly with a DNF, no safety car or red flag. So let's take a look at what happened to Gasly here. Chasing Ocon down, being chased by Leclerc. And it is a tight, tight battle. And Gasly locks up. 
and it looks like he just has a mechanical failure. That is unfortunate. Wow, it's smoking up. So, not a driver error, but unfortunate for Gasly. We're gaining on Sergeant now. I think I'm going to try to make a pass. I'm enabling all my ERS. We got DRS headed down the straight. He almost hits us. We're out of ERS. We're going to own the line. And that's a pass. See if we can hold him off. He's looking inside. We're going to defend the inside line from him. Oh, he lunges at us. Oh, he's able to get the corner back. The two Americans with a solid, fun battle. Dang. Thought we had him, but not quite. Not quite. And now we gotta recharge our ERS. This is really fun battling, though. The updates the Codemasters have made seem to be creating just some more fun. Another lockup up ahead. Sergeant locks up after we put pressure on him, but it's not major. The cars actually have space between. They're making mistakes and they're battling good. This is the F124 we were hoping for at launch. Gotta save ERS now. Recharge it. Oh, but we have a lot of speed with DRS on. We're gonna go on the inside. Not quite enough. Sergeant keeping it clean though. Maybe we can force him into a mistake. Gotta watch out for him locking up. Going on the inside. Nope, we don't have it. The goal is to not finish last. The last of the cars that didn't DNF. On these softs, I should have more grip, but I'm just hesitating to push it too hard. Our overtake is recharged. We're gonna do the opposite of what Logan does. We want some clear track. So if he pits on lap 8, we won't pit. If he doesn't pit on lap 8, we will pit. So we just need some clear track at this point. Starting to push it now and save less tires. Oh, we get a lot of speed here. Look at that. And we get the DRS. That should dust him. Yes, we got him. Can we hold him off now? That was a good clean pass right there. And we still have DRS. And now we are completely leaving him behind and catching up to the pack. Let's go. We have found our pace. And maybe now the softs are really coming to life. Let's see if we can get in the DRS range. Oh, some people are pitting already. Okay. I was expecting more of them to pit lap 8 or 9, but Baltas pit. Maybe he had damage. Another lockup up ahead. I am feeling the tire wear now. Having to brake a little bit earlier. That time I almost locked up with how hard I was braking. I think we might actually take that lap 8 pit stop after all. There is just a lot of tire wear. Sergeant's breathing down our neck. We are out of DRS range to Albon. Oh, there he, he's coming. We're gonna defend the inside. Hold our ground. Not a lot of ERS to defend with. Defend the inside again. That was good. I feel the tires have gone though. He's on our inside. Come on. We'll own the corner. Shove him out. Oh, and a good battle there. 
Still holding them off, but barely. And my tires are toasted. Oh, and someone spins off! It's Hulkenberg, our teammate! Oh no! Our teammate has gone off the track. Albon looking to the inside. Oh, these tires are toast. They are not breaking. Uh, and Sergeant finally gets the move on us. Us having the soft tires is killing us after all. Oh man, maybe we should switch the hards. I, I'm gonna trust the mediums. They should—they were doing good in practice. So we go on the outside. Able to hold Sergeant off another lap, but we have to box now. Because these tires are toasted. We're taking the medium still, I'm trusting it. Sergeant hitting us, making contact. We need a pit though, and he spins us out. Oh my gosh, Logan Sergeant spins us out. We can't get in the pit lane. What was that, Logan Sergeant? Terrible. Terrible. So here is a replay of the unfortunate incident. Sergeant really seems like he just pit maneuvers us. That was just a dirty Chick Hicks trick right there. Terrible. No yellow flags. Man. And a slow pit stop. A bad day all of a sudden. Luckily, no damage. We had an issue removing the right rear wheel. I know it's not and a bad pit stop. Logan Sergeant screwed us. Wouldn't let us get into pit lane. And I doubt the FIA is going to penalize him for that. Come on, man. We were actually 16th. Maybe we had a chance to get some points. Our only hope now is a safety car happens. That was horrible. Disastrous. Freaking Logan Sargent, man. We are not playing nice with the other American. So we are 8 seconds away from Hulkenberg. That's going to be a tough gap to catch up to. We're going to make a very fast lap. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 8.3 seconds. I don't even know where uh, Sergeant is. He seems to have passed... Albon and Sonoda as well through the chaos my gosh that was messed up that was messed up but we have clear track to catch up so that's what we're gonna try to do praying for a safety car red flag to get us back into this thing Oh, and we get a three-second penalty. This is a disaster race. Yikes. 
Well, that's that's the race right there. That's unfortunate. A rough start. Huge rookie issues for us. Logan Sargent not helping out a fellow American and screwing us over. Oh, it is a rough start to our racing career. We're definitely going to lose some rating. First loss of rating. First, we started out losing rating, having to deal with wet qualifying, which I have no experience with. And now, a rough start. The media is probably going to be hating on us as the privileged American and just a marketing stunt. We're going to have to really show up well in the next race. This was terrible, though. Haas is not going to listen to our request for sure, and Hulkenberg's going to have much more influence. Very, very sad. Well, we've caught up to Logan Sargent. And now I'm thinking... If we can somehow get him to DNF without ourselves DNFing... Uh, it'll be a minor victory for us. Final lap. Run him wide, maybe? I want this guy to DNF. But he was too m bad to us. Let's see what we can do here. Can we squeeze him? Block him, maybe? Block him off track? Trying to do something to him, but he's not biting. Ah, Logan's not biting. He knows our evil intentions. Ah, it's a shame. I mean, the positive is we did not DNF. So we did take the car home in one piece. But that's about it. We were at least we did not DNF. I saved a couple slides there on those laps where it was just me. So at least there's that. And Max able to come in and get the win. Piastri could not hold on in his home country, unfortunately. And Max takes the win. To get a victory at the first race of the season, this might be a sign of things to come. One thing's for sure is that this performance will be giving the team and the driver relief and confidence going into the rest of the season. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So P. Ashtree is able to hold second in his home race, signs third. So some of the more expected front runners like Norris and Leclerc aren't there. Could be interesting to see what happens in this championship. Max could run away with it without the other front runners really performing well. Yeah, Lando in seventh and Leclerc stuck in 14th. Wow. But obviously we did terrible. We did run a faster lap than Hulkenberg. We ran a faster lap than a good amount of the guys. Should have at least finished in 13th then it looks like. But what can you do? Sergeant screwed us. Let's take a look and see how our standing with the team is after that. Look at Hulkenberg. Terrible. Four of six. Our experience goes up at least. Our racecraft, okay, they like that. Our awareness probably because of collisions lowered and our focus is bad. Overall, we still move up, thank goodness. I was big. That was really, really nice. All right, we'll take it, we'll take it. And our recognition still in favor of Hulkenberg, but we moved up in rating a little bit, which helped us get some more good standing with Haas. That's good. All right. Well, we'll take that. And that will be all for today. 
and that will be all for this video but tune in next time as we have a secret meeting and we're going to japan so that'll be a good one if you liked the video i would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked thank you guys for watching have a great day